Hello everyone, I'm your host Alex Zarnowski, and welcome to Age As Encrypted. This time of year, I like to call Techmas because technology conventions have started and we're excited, especially for WWDC. Apple's keynote kicked off WWDC without an annual iPhone announcement, and they announced three key things, iOS 5, Lion, and iCloud. First up was iOS 5, which brought a few things to the beloved platform, and here are just a few highlights. First off, iOS 5 will be compatible with the iPhone 3GS, third gen iPod Touch, first gen iPad and up, and will be launched this fall alongside the next gen iPhone, as far as we can tell. So here's a giant list of things it's supposed to have. Twitter integration, an obtrusive notification system sort of like Android's, a new app called Newsstand, the Safari Reader, complete iCloud integration, and more on that in a minute, and a new app called iMessage, which is like BBM, a new split screen keyboard with thumb typing, and finally full independence from the PC with wireless sync and backup to iCloud. Apple then announced their new operating system with a generous price tag, I might add. Next big thing Apple dished out was another kitty cat, Lion. The King of the Jungle arrives in July and will cost only $29.99, but only via the Mac App Store. So once you install, make sure you create a boot disk and keep it in a safe place. Lion will be filled with hundreds of new features, including mission control, airdrop, a new full screen version of Photo Booth with head tracking, launch pad, which is similar to the home screen on your iDevice, Resume, which saves Delta versions of your files, new multi-touch gestures, and a totally revamped mail application with better search functionality. One of the last items Steve Jobs personally announced was something that Apple has been trying to get right since the launch of iTools. Apple may have successfully have migrated its users to the iCloud, which offers a slew of features without actually storing large amounts of data. Instead of giving users 20 or more gigs of space, as Apple did with MobileMe, they are allotting only 5 gigs. But Apple claims that 5 gigs will go a long way since iCloud simplifies syncing by syncing only the most important user data. Content such as purchase music, apps, books, as well as your photo stream don't account against your free storage, leaving your mail, documents, camera roll, account information, settings, and other apps all subject to the cloud, which doesn't require much data at all. And there you have it. That's what kicked off WWDC 2011.